I enjoy helping people. I, that's the main thing. I enjoy doing everything I can, making a difference in somebody's life. I wanted to be a doctor ever since I could walk. So it's, I never wanted to do anything else. And you know, I realized my dream, and I'm blessed and fortunate to be able to do what I do every day. I feel great when I go home at night that I did the very best I could for patients. And I think just that uh, gives me a lot of pride in, in the work that we do here. I uh, send out letters to the patients to see how their experience has been in the hospital. And they say that the nurses are great, the doctors are great, their care is great. We want to give the best as if they're our own family members. We have the best of the best, and that is the truth. Every day, incredible patient care goes on. I believe that the staff here goes over and above every day, and they don't even realize that it's going over and above. That's a daily routine for them. It takes your soul. It makes you so proud. It breaks your heart and you get to take care of people. We're not in it for the money. What we do gets a lot of hugs, a lot of thank yous. Getting those hugs are like the best thing. It makes it all worth it, you know? Um, I think if they didn't pay me, I would do this job all over because it's very, very rewarding. It's one of the only jobs in the world where you are able to help restore someone's health and make a direct difference in their life immediately. At the end of every day, I'm able to go home knowing that I've had a positive impact on someone's life, and, and that's a great feeling. Our goal at the end of every day, our goal at the beginning and at the end of every day, is patient satisfaction, patient comfort, patient care, good teamwork, building a good team, blending a good team. We couldn't accomplish our job without the help of each other. A nurse needs a nurse's aid to do some of the care, you know, that is required. We need respiratory, we need lab, we need x-ray, we need CAT scan, we need housekeeping because they're keeping our patients safe. There's not one department that can exist on its own, but our team leader is always that patient sitting in the very center of the circle. For me, it's overwhelming to be part of something bigger than myself. This is the only job I've ever had that I can come in and know for a fact that it matters whether I'm here, it matters to my team members whether I'm here, and my coworkers, and my patients and their family. It's important to be able to step back and remember why we're all here, and to remember how important it is to focus on our patients and make sure that we keep them as, as our first priority. We should thank people for coming to our hospitals and coming to our community sites and allowing home care in their home. They're allowing us to take care of the people that they love. It's not always about providing them with you know, medical attention. It's about giving them things that we might take for granted every day. Many of the patients that we serve might not have a coat, might not have a hat. So what we do at the Sister Rose Vincent Family Medicine Center is we have a collection of uh, coats and hats that we give to some of these patients. And when you give them like a coat or a hat and you're able to see them you know, walk outside, you know, it, it's such a gratifying feeling where you can see, um, you know, the parents' face, like, wow, you know, these guys really care. We have elderly patients that are here, they're scared. We, we're walking in the room, we're going to clean the room. The first thing I will ask is, is it okay if I o wipe you over the bed table? And they're reaching their hand out for me. And what they, all they want is just someone to grab their hand and hold their hand for five minutes. And you know what I mean? And just that human-friendly touch. When, when someone's reaching their hand out for you. And I think that goes unseen sometimes by people, they don't realize how much support we give to our patients. I try to provide the best customer service and I believe that will make a difference in a, either a patient or a visitor's uh, experience. Eating makes people happy. It also helps them recuperate better, faster, and then they can go home. So it's our job, if we're going to make a difference, to ensure that when you walk out the door, you are happy, you're satisfied, you're doing well, and we've done the best we can do. My patients make me love what I do and make me want to just be the best that I can be. Every day I take home a memory. The bonds, the compassion, the trust. I want to be the person to make a difference. 
I think that in this MBHS affiliation, what we've done is we've created a super team of caregivers. They've committed themselves to dedication to both facilities now, and I think that that speaks well for them. We're here for each other. We're here to take care of our patients and their families and to help the community. There's a culture of caring in this community that you don't find in larger places, but healthcare is so complex in this day and age and it's so competitive that I think that the allocation and coalescence of resources is imperative to gain better access to uh, the very best quality that we can bring to Central New York. The potential is, is, you know, we're always getting to great, we're always trying to make it better. So if you take what is the strength of Fax and St. Luke's facility and what might be the strength of St. Elizabeth's facility and put the two together, it's going to be pretty unstoppable, I think. To achieve excellence in providing health care, you have to be passionate about it. Somebody with a big heart, a willingness to give, to be flexible, to be a team player, to have compassion, and to give the best care that you possibly can give. I've seen those qualities in both hospitals at all hours of the day and night. So I think, you know, having worked in both hospitals, I think in the end, uh, the goals are common and I think we're gonna come together very nicely as a team. You can't do the kind of work that we do every day without having all of us working together throughout the facility to be able to come together to provide our best. And, and honestly, at the end of the day, all of us together as a team make that difference and have that impact on people. Isn't that what you wanna do? Don't you wanna look back and think, I touched a life?